Hi, and welcome to NASA Launchpad. I'm your host, Alicia Sears. NASA's space shuttle, no doubt you've seen it. The shuttle is the most complex piece of machinery ever built by mankind. She was the world's first reusable spacecraft, rocketing men and women to low Earth orbit and bringing them home for three decades. You may know about the technology benefits generated by the space shuttle program, but did you know that this unique machine is responsible for amazing advances in astrophysics and planetary science? How? Think about that gigantic cargo bay, a space 4.6 by 18 meters. The huge space allowed this NASA workhorse to haul satellites, probes, and large scientific instruments to space. Magellan was the first planetary spacecraft to be launched by a shuttle. A successful mission to Venus tested a technique called aerobraking that uses the atmosphere of a planet to help steer or slow down a craft. Craters shown in the radar images taken by Magellan told scientists that Venus's surface appears relatively young. Or what about the Hubble Space Telescope? This bus-sized observatory was not only deployed by the shuttle, but recaptured for repairs and updates that will allow the telescope to continue taking images that are changing society's view of the universe. The shuttle played an important role in sending the Galileo probe to the Jupiter system, and the new Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer delivered to the International Space Station will examine the cosmic rays coming from exploding stars and black holes. One of the shuttle's most incredible accomplishments was building the International Space Station, module by module, panel by panel. This state-of-the-art national laboratory will be the heart of our human space flight activities in the coming years. But before any space shuttle or its cargo was go for launch, an unbelievable amount of work and dedication was required just to get it to the launch pad. People, plans, and more than a million parts needed to work together perfectly for a space shuttle launch. And with parts coming from more than 35 states around the country, this was truly a national endeavor. With so many people across the United States help. For example, we have a landing facility out at Dryden Research Flight Center. In the middle of the United States and every state in between, you have all of these vendors that are making piece parts that go into the shuttle. The bigger ones that people know of, the solid rocket boosters, those big boosters on the side uh, of the launch of the vehicle, those are designed and made and processed in Utah. And uh, they put those solid rocket boosters on a train and they track them all the way across the United States to Kennedy Space Center. In Louisiana, they build the external tanks. In Alabama, you have the project centers where all of the propulsion elements are managed. At Kennedy Space Center, they process the vehicle and get it ready for flight. You know, at Johnson, uh, we're kind of in the middle of all that, and then we fly the mission. Teams of people began working together from the moment a mission was announced, and the work didn't stop when the shuttle wheels made their dramatic touchdown. Oh gosh, there's thousands of people that, that are behind the scenes that you never see. And it's whether they're, whether they're you know, a closeout crew. You know, when they're putting the crew, loading them into the shuttle, making sure they're strapped in, making sure that the vehicle is buttoned up just right. The crawler transporters, their job is to get in this giant crawler with tracks that is moving at less than one mile an hour and move this, this shuttle stack from the vehicle assembly building all the way out to the pad. Now, after three remarkable decades, it's time to retire America's space shuttle as we look forward to the future. What will NASA's next spacecraft look like? Where will the next generation of astronauts travel? What new scientific mysteries will be revealed? New discoveries and new spacecraft will need new jobs. The shuttle program may be at an end, but tomorrow's space program is taking shape right now. And it's all because it flew. Thanks for watching. I'm Alicia. See you next time on NASA Launchpad.